Hey guys, we're here at BlizzCon 2017. I'm Justin Haywald and this is Eric Tay. Hey, what's up guys? And we got to play a little bit of some of the upcoming changes to Hearthstone. Now, we this is no surprise, there was a new expansion announced here at BlizzCon, Kobolds and Caverns, which is very D&D inspired, as both in the, the style, the adventure that they're going for, and in the, the graphics. Yeah, I mean, it was a very like, dungeon-esque kind of thing. Um, even Ben Brode, as we were going through the presentation, uh, basically asked the crowd, like, hey, we got two ways we can go through this dungeon. Do you want to go left? Do you want to go right? I thought that was a lot of fun. Uh, great way to interact with the crowd. Um, and yeah, the just a cool expansion all around. Yeah, because it's it's going to be introducing a new adventure mode with it. So it, I, it sounds like this might be a permanent addition to the game, or maybe it will be just tiled to kobolds and caverns. We'll learn more about that, I'm sure, in the coming weeks. But this is basically a single-player thing that is totally free and that lets you go up against random bosses, but you have a limited number of cards at the beginning. As you win, you get to add more cards to your deck, which is was kind of fun. We I didn't get to play a full set, but right here at the convention, they let us play through three bosses. Yeah. Yeah, the dungeon run was a lot of fun. I believe Ben Brode said that it's free for everyone. It, you don't even have to have Kobolds and Caverns expansion, which is awesome, obviously. Um, it gives, like, it lets you experiment with, uh, you know, different classes, obviously, and then they give you a different, like, sets of cards that you earn as you beat, um, you know, said bosses. And it's kind of cool because it helps you, like, almost learn how to craft decks, too, if you haven't before, because I was getting a lot of these, uh, I was playing Anduin, so, it was giving me a lot of these combo abilities of like, you know, punch size, potion, and shadow of horror, which would, you know, wipe the enemy's board. You know, like maybe some people don't know that, you know, if they don't watch a lot of like esports Hearthstone or things like that. So it's a nice learning tool too. And it's just a nice little experience that people can go through. Um, I think that there is a very wide audience of Hearthstone players, you know, anyone from casual to esports, obviously. And this is, uh, feels a nice like, casual to like medium hardcore kind of niche I feel like. Yeah especially starting with 10 cards it's really easy to handle it's really easy to know exactly what's in your deck and how those things are going to come together. This is going to be a great tool for, for beginners to kind of learn those synergies. Yeah and another cool thing that we learned uh, you know is that we're getting another free card. Uh, Marin the Fox is going to be available on Monday which is like really soon and you don't even have to have the expansion obviously to have that card but another nice little touch from Blizzard obviously. And it also introduces some new interesting cards. One of them is legendary weapons for every class. And these had varying <laughs> varying abilities. One of them that I got to play around with was uh, on the mage side. So the mage legendary weapon was like a multi-hit. You could attack four times in one turn. It was only one damage, but it was a poisonous weapon. So like you're going to have these kind of crazy abilities and combos you'll be able to do with classes that normally don't have weapons. Yeah, so Kobolds and Caverns is going to be closing out the season. And next year, we'll see where, <laughs> where Hearthstone is going to go, where they're going to lead but this will be the last one for this season. I think it's a pretty interesting, a pretty strong way to close out this season of Hearthstone. Yeah, looking forward to it. Hope you guys are looking forward to it as well. We're going to get to play it soon. I think it's one month away, so stay tuned to GameSpot.com, obviously, for more Hearthstone coverage, more cards, obviously. Uh, until next time. Thanks, I'm Justin. Gonna, I'm going to go play Hearthstone. All right. <laughs>